Okay, this video is to help you get an idea for how to check the fuel pressure on a Ram Eco Diesel, the three liter diesel motor. Um, at least checking the fuel pressure in between the lift pump in the tank and then the high pressure injection, injection pump on the engine. So on top of the engine here, this is the uh, fuel manifold. Um, you can see arrows here to indicate the direction of flow. This flows towards the injection pump. This is going back to the fuel tank. So we're only concerned about checking pressure on this side, going to the, from the lift pump to the injection pump. And you can see I have this 3 8 line fuel hose connected here. Um, it's connected to this brass T-fitting. Now this T-fitting with a Schrader valve to hook your fuel pressure gauge to, this is in any inexpensive uh, fuel pressure testing kit on Amazon and eBay. Um, but you know, they re you know, 25 to $35 kits include this fitting here. Um, it's got two long three eighths barbs on both sides to hook the hose to. And this is the line I actually took off the fuel manifold over here. This, I have a small piece of steel line, uh, Dorman part number 800-159. Um, it's almost always in stock at your local AutoZone. Um, you can order it from a lot of different places. But it's a small piece of a 3 8 line with a special flare on it that clicks into this line right here. Um, also, if you don't already have it, you're going to need a fuel line disconnect tool. Again, I believe those come with the uh, fuel pressure testing kits that you find on Amazon and eBay. Um, so with all that hooked up, and I just got done replacing the, uh, the lift pump in this truck. <clears throat> I'll show you what fuel pressure should look like. So you can see there, I have a fuel pressure gauge up on the dash or on the glass here. And with a key on, the fuel pump cycles on for probably about 20 seconds or so, 20 to 30 seconds. With this brand new pump, I'm sitting at about 62 PSI. Um, I think specs are actually about 54 PSI. And the fuel pump I just replaced, it was wavering between 46 and 50 PSI. But I believe it had an intermittent issue and so I just decided to replace it. It's got 200,000 miles on that lift pump, so I thought it'd be a good idea to replace it. But I just wanted to show what the characteristics, what it looks like on a healthy truck with a new lift pump. So again, as long as it should be right around, hopefully 52 to 54 PSI, I'm at 62 and that's perfectly fine. And then I turn the key off right now and it loses pressure fairly quickly, so that's normal too. But yeah, I hope that's been helpful and uh, helps you troubleshoot any issues you have. Also, I'll say too, with the engine, with a scan tool hooked up and the engine cranking over, uh, you should see a, a value on your scan tool. Uh, the high pressure, in, the high pressure fuel side it should be right around 4,500 psi while cranking over. Um, I think minimum is at least 3,500 PSI. Um, on this truck, I had 500 PSI while cranking over. So my best guess was that the lift pump was weak or intermittently failing. But yeah, I hope that has been helpful for someone.